I'm Steve for This Week With Cars, and today I'm back with my Dodge M37 Vintage Off-Road Record. A couple months ago, I was off-roading this record and got to play around with some very steep hills. Some of them I was not able to climb in first gear because I lost traction with the tires, which shows that I have enough power that I'm going to spin the tires before the engine runs out of steam going up a hill. Now that of course is the case for the lower gears. When I tried to climb some of the steeper hills in a higher gear, I stalled out and ended up rolling back down the hill. So when you're off-roading, gearing is the key. This thing has plenty of low gear, so as long as I am at crawling speed, this thing will probably climb and pull just about anything, provided that the tires have enough traction that is. But what I'd like to find out today is how much power and torque does this truck actually make? It's probably not very much, but you can bind that with the very low gearing of the truck, and this thing is a beast. This M37 still has its original Dodge flathead straight six. Let's get it on the dyno and see how much power it makes. All right, I've got the dyno ready. I have the truck tied down. Have my RPM sensor hooked up. The M37 is supposed to make its max horsepower at 3200 RPM with a max RPM of 3400 RPM. This will be the first time that I'm ever seeing the correlation between ground speed and engine speed because I do not have a tack in this truck. So on this first run, I'm gonna be learning a lot of things about my vehicle. Okay, let's take a look at the results. These engines were supposed to have a net horsepower of 79 horsepower, but my truck has these giant Humvee tires on it. It has an alternator and a power steering pump, all things that are going to rob horsepower from it. And I do know from when I hooked a tack up to it just to check some things while I was hooking the dyno up that this truck could use a tune-up. The ignition is not firing completely consistently. So if we look over at my RPM, it's jumping around all over the place. And that's a good sign that I have an ignition problem. Now, remember on a graph like this, that this upper graph, that is actually the torque. And the horsepower is down here because this engine makes so much more torque than it does horsepower. My maximum horsepower occurred at 2600 RPM, which is a good indication that I do have an ignition problem. It didn't continue to make horsepower, although this horsepower curve is very nice and flat, and that's something that you really want to see. This engine does not rev high enough for the horsepower and torque lines to intersect, but the maximum torque was 115 foot-pounds, which sounds pretty good. Let's run it one more time, get a little more heat in the engine, and see what happens.
So for the second run, pretty much identical results. I made a little less horsepower, a little less torque. One thing I'm curious about, let's see how fast I was going. So at 3,400 RPM, it looks like I was doing 63 miles an hour. So the larger tires have helped. If I go to 3,200 RPM, it looks like I'll be doing 60 miles an hour. So my max horsepower should be at 60 miles per hour. And boy, that would really transform this truck. So it looks like the first project for this winter on the M37 is to give it an ignition upgrade. I'll probably go to an electronic ignition. That way I don't have to worry about points. That will be especially useful on an off-road vehicle like this where it could see a lot of water and dust. After I do the ignition upgrade, I'll probably put it back on the dyno and we'll test it again and see what difference it made. If you want to see more videos like this, comment below and click subscribe.